hi guys how are you all doing today i hope you are all doing great if you're new here my name is latifa and welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to insert an invisible zipper an invisible zipper can be a little bit tricky to insert especially for beginners yes so don't worry i will explain the method to make your zipper neat and professional now before we get started in this tutorial i'll be using my all-purpose foot also known as the regular sewing foot to fix this zipper but if you want to make your work easier use the invisible zipper foot but for those of us that don't have the invisible zipper foot i'll be explaining how to do it with your regular sewing foot now and also i'd like to show you the difference between invisible zipper and a regular zipper so this is an invisible zipper and this is a regular zipper and as you can see for the invisible zipper we don't have the teeth of the zipper at the right side of the zipper so this is the right side of the zipper like this and this is the regular zipper and this is the right side of the regular zipper so the regular zipper has the teeth at the front of the zipper and the invisible zipper doesn't have the teeth at the front the teeth is located at the back of the zipper so that's the difference between an invisible zipper and regular zipper now the next thing you want to do is indicate your zipper allowance on your fabric if you have half inch you want to mark it straight down and this is important for beginners so that you can know where you'll be placing your zipper now to indicate your zipper allowance you can use your chalk to mark it straight down but i don't advise using your chalk because inserting your zipper allowance you'll be working with the front part of your fabric so this is the front part of my fabric and this is the back that i mark here so to get a neat um front side what i do is i turn my fabric to the wrong side like this and fold my zipper allowance inward so i have one inch zipper allowance so i'll be folding my zipper allowance like this and press it down with my iron so let's do that so you measure i hope you can see what i'm doing like this one inch like this then you use your iron to press that down and as you can see after doing that you have something like this then the next thing you want to do is turn your fabric back like this can you see that and now you know that you'll be placing your zipper at this crease line like this so this is much better than marking the upper part of your fabric with a chalk so you do the same thing to the other fabric now after doing that for the both part of the zipper allowance the next thing you want to do is you want to indicate where you want your zipper to stop now for me i want my zipper to stop somewhere around here so what i'll do is turn my fabric to the back like this because i'll be marking it at the wrong side you don't want to mark at the right side then place my zipper and mark where i want it to stop so i want mine to stop here can you see and i mark where i want it to stop and also at the upper part of my um zipper allowance right here i want to leave half inch allowance to turn my fabric backward later so what i'll do is come down by that half of an inch just mark it a little bit you don't want it to really show but you just want a little bit of marking so right here i'll mark half of an inch can you see that just a little bit and right here half of an inch and after doing that the next thing is your zipper so the next thing i want to show you is the teeth of your invisible zipper so for the teeth of the invisible zipper as you can see the teeth is always crawling inward this is what i mean can you see that 
so for you and for you to be able to sew the zip and make it very invisible you'll be sewing right here very close to the teeth so to make your work easier you want to press this part open like this so you want it to open instead of it crawling up you want it open so what you do is open your zipper and use your iron to open it up so first open it up with your hand and press it down so i'll open it up like this and press it now can you see this is what i'm talking about now it's open it's not crawled up the way this one is crawled up so do the same thing for the other part so after doing that now it's time to take our zipper and fabric to the sewing machine and now let's go so guys now to get started what you want to do is first of all if you remember i told you that i want my zipper to hand right here so what i'll do is this is the right side of my fabric i'll pick the other fabric and place the right side facing each other like this like this so right side facing each other then i will sew from you see where I marked this part that I want my zipper to hang? I'll sew from there straight down, leaving this upper part open for my zipper. So let's do that. You can hold this place down with your pin for beginners to make it more easier. Or well, I'll just go like this. And you'll be sewing on that crease line this one right there the one we used our iron to make so just sew straight down and don't forget to always top stitch your stitches so. So after doing that, this is what we have right here. Can you see? So this is where we'll be putting our zipper. So to fix the zipper, let me explain this part to you. Depending on which one you understand, there are so many ways people understand placing their zipper. So some people understand placing their zipper as, okay, the right side of my fabric will be facing up. And the right side of my zipper will also be facing up so you place your zipper in the middle and place your fabric like this i hope you can see what i'm doing so you'll be placing your fabric like this then flip it over like this then sew on your zipper and some people understand putting their zipper as when you zip down your zipper open like this as you can see the reason why the zipper is crawling up is because i the ironing that i did earlier so when you zip it down like this then you want to open your zipper like a book so this is the zipper then you open it like this i hope you are seeing what i'm doing so this is my zipper i'll zip it down And after zipping it down then I'll open it like a book on top of my fabric like this can you see that so the teeth of the zipper will be facing the other side of your fabric like this so when you place it then make sure you are placing it on your zipper allowance then pin it down but I won't be pinning it down but for beginner you want to make sure you pin it down so so after flipping it on your fabric in the right way 
so the next thing is you want to make sure that the half of an inch we have here if you remember earlier i came down by half of an inch so that when i want to turn my fabric inward with my lining i will have a neat finishing here so what you want to do is make sure the beginning of your zipper which is right here this is not the beginning of your zipper the beginning of your zipper is right here i hope you can see that so this is where the beginning of the zipper is is matching this half of an inch so this is what i'll do like this and as you can see the beginning is matching the half of an inch now what you want to first do is create a stitch to hold your zipper down with your fabric so i'll just be sewing straight down like this so let's take this to the machine and do that so guys as you can see we already make our first stitch and that is this white thread now if we flip this over like this you see that our zipper is visible and we want it to be invisible so what we want to do is we want just this part showing we don't want the rest of this part showing now you flip your fabric back and sew very close to the teeth right here can you see you'll be sewing right here like this so that's where you'll be sewing right here like this but make sure you don't sew on the teeth because if you sew on the teeth you will probably ruin the zipper or the zipper won't be able to zip up so you want to be careful and sew gently at the tip like very close to the teeth of the zipper so now i'm going to do that now as you can see this is way better than the first time and now we can only see the teeth of the zipper so when i zip up can you see can you see that that is really closed up so this is what you want to see now we'll do the same thing for the other part so the way we did this one You open your zipper like this then flip it open like a book on top of the other one like this so don't forget to place the teeth of your zipper at the half inch allowance So after doing that, then the next will be to sew very close to the teeth. So the way we did for the first one, so I'll be sewing very close to the teeth. And guys can you see so now we already made the second stitch that is very close to the teeth and if you flip it now you can see that we only have the teeth showing so when you zip it can you see this is beautiful so this is what you want to have when you zip your zipper you can see it is invisible and you can hardly tell we have a zipper here so and the hand here is also neat you just need to iron it a little bit more to um, make it look flat and for the white thread that is picking a little bit that's because i use a white thread so if you are doing yours make sure you use a matching thread can you see so this is really neat can you see that so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys if you know this video has been helpful make sure you give me a thumbs up 
subscribe share and leave me a comment in the comment section and i'll see you in my next video bye